Welcome, welcome, one and all, all you fine, fine folks. Thank you, Ghost Heads. Ghost Heads returning, returning. Uh, you know that I'm a huge fan of Ghost. There is Papa Emeritus IV, a.k.a. Cardinal Copia, a.k.a. Tobias Fjork. And he is the lead henchman for the band Ghost. I enjoy Ghost. I'm going to be quite frank with you. Can I be frank with you right now? I don't, I don't care for this song. I didn't care for the uh, Genesis version of the song when it came out. It was just too, I don't know. To, it sounds too uh, ding dong to me. I still haven't seen the official video Ghost put out. I don't think it'll change my my opinion of the tune. I've got uh, tickets to see this, and I'm kind of saying, okay, well they're gonna put this this song in there when they could put that kick ass Phantom of the Opera in there, bros. Toby. What are you doing, man? You're not going to bust that off? I'll tell you when he busts it off, when he goes back to Europe. Then he kicks a few of the tunes out. I guess they're in Europe right now, right? But at some point, half of us are going to lose out on the opportunity to see them play that live. But they'll, they'll kick it off at some point. Uh, we're going to get into it. This is the first official performance of Ghost doing Jesus, He Knows Me. They're wonderful. They're and, and and they're even better live. I mean, it's 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 the uh, you know a lot of people say that it's pop metal. It is pop metal. Yes, it is. But the music combined with the live show and the look is what really, for me, takes it off. You know, if you're just uh, someone that's gone, well, I've never seen them live, but you uh, you know you you um, you listen to the record, you go, eh, it's all right, or it's not good, or whatever. But once you get the full package. You're really uh, loving it. Let's get into it. Uh, Surfing the Wave 99. I'm going to put the link to his video here. And uh, we're going to check it out. Jesus, he knows me. Hands clapping, clapping, tapping, banging, popping. They got about 100 people in the band. And there comes the little pop up. Makes his way right up to that mic. See what's crazy about this is I like the I like every bit of the parts I just don't like them together. I like the the drum beat and then you got and then you've got you know on the on the guitars I love all of it but when it gets put together I just don't like the sound. And then the keys playing and. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, girl? This is what I do at the concerts, too. I go. And it gets you bopping. It gets you bopping in the hands in the air. Especially, you know, people are like super down with Jesus. This is their moment, right? Like, God damn it, finally, this satanic band has given me a few minutes to enjoy Jesus. Right? You can see them people bobbing. They're bobbing and bouncing and flopping and... Everything is all right. He says, thank you, Jesus. The guy's pointing to the clouds. He says, by God, thank you, Jesus, because this clown fella's telling me everything's going to be okay. But I know you're up there. I mean, it's like a mask, right? I always kind of go back and forth on that, that look because I know it's a mask. But sometimes it almost looks like it's just kind of portions of mask. That's so he can animate the face better. Cause he doesn't know me, tell me all my life. I've been talking to Toby. He knows I'm right. This is the happiest satanic concert you'd ever be at in your entire life. That's what makes this so fun. 
I mean, these people are literally at the at, at the at a, at a satanic pop concert right now. And they're going, Oh, Jesus, love me. They're like, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Martha, Hallelujah. I hope he gets to that Phantom of the Opera at some point. Tobias. These are all a bunch of Swedish fellas, guys and gals that he's lined up with, I guess. Remember when people used to say, uh, it was like the first record or something, or not the first record, but somewhere around the middle of the ghost thing. Or, does anyone remember the, uh, the old, uh, um, that Dave Grohl was on the drums, playing the drums? But there ain't no... So, I don't know. Sorry, I digress. Oh, they're swaying the hands in the air. Is this bit in the, uh, the original version? These guys aren't using tapes. Yeah. What is that? You can call me on Facebook. Is that what he said? You can call me on Facebook. Yeah. He says, you can call me on Facebook. Just call the toll free number. The Jeffy uh, Zuckerberg. Look at them clothes too, man. I've I've mentioned this before, but it looks like he dug like dug right out of the grave, and back you know. But it's all nice, finely tailored to look destructed, right? the time gap. You know some right gap. He's been telling him everything's all right because he knows him. And Jesus, he knows me. He knows him all his life. He's been talking to him and tells him everything's all right. Then why in the hell did you start liking the damn devil? This guy, man, he's bopping his bald head, man. He says, hell yeah, I'm going to bop it over. Oh, I got to get him. I'm bopping over. Yeah. Bop. Let's just keep on bopping. He says, that's it, by God. I used to love Jesus, but now I've found room in my heart for both the sweet Lord Satan and Jesus. What an evening. Oh! Yeah. yeah! Did Phil Collins say that too? At the very end of the tune? Oh, that's a beautiful shot, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, look at those lights coming down on him. And his arms are perfect too. Like he's just like, fuck me, I'm so rich and famous. That's what I would be doing right there. As I was turned around like that and all those adoring people that just listened to me rock out, I would turn around and go, I am so rich and famous. Then I'd turn around and go, thank you. Thank you, one and all. Uh, what say you? Get, we'll leave that shot there. That's beautiful. Uh, get down there. Tell me what you think of that song. Did you like the Genesis version? I think it's, it's all based around... Uh, uh, Tobias was saying in an interview, I believe, that he was saying that uh, uh, the televangelists that were on TV all the time in the 80s or when Genesis wrote this song, it seemed really relevant at this time to do that song. But they could be doing Phantom of the Opera if they wanted to. Get in those comments down there and tell me everything you know and absolutely love or hate about Ghost. Do you got tickets to go see them when they come to your town? Well, get, go get some if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't go, okay? Swing it out. 
and this is he knows me, he knows me all my life. I've been talking to Jesus in my underpants, underpants.